Section four, what are your responsibilities setting up your tenancy? Here, there are 10 considerations. Number one, the tenancy agreement. It is best practice to provide your tenants with a tenancy agreement. The terms must be fair. If your terms conflict with legislation, the legislation overrides your tenancy agreement. Prospective tenants should be given the chance to read and understand the tenancy agreement before agreeing to sign it. Number two, how long is the fixed term? A tenancy can be a periodic tenancy, i.e. month by month, or for a fixed term. Tenancies for more than three years must be executed as a deed. And there are special rules for tenancies of seven years or longer and you will typically need a solicitor to draft this as a lease. Who pays the bills? You or your tenants? Usually, the tenants pay the bills. Landlords of student or professional shared houses sometimes choose to include the bills in the rent and pay the bills themselves. This must be made clear in the tenancy agreement. Landlords' legal requirements. You must carry out a right to rent check. You must check whether your tenant, any tenant in fact over age of 18, can legally rent in England. A right to rent check can be done manually or via the Home Office online checking service. Further information on landlords' right to rent checks can be found on the gov.uk website. Protecting tenants' deposits. It is common to ask tenants for a deposit before moving into a property. The deposit can be used to pay for unpaid bills or damage to your property at the end of a tenancy. The deposit is the tenant's money. And from April the 6th, 2007, deposits must be protected in the government approved deposit scheme. And since the 1st of June 2019, the maximum amount of deposit was capped at five weeks where the annual rent is below £50,000 per year. Where the rent is over £50,000 per year, it is capped at six weeks rent. The landlord must protect the deposit and provide the prescribed information within 30 days of receiving it. And failure to protect the deposit and provide the prescribed information means a tenant can take you to court and the landlord will be liable to pay the tenant between one and three times the amount of the deposit. You will also not be able to obtain possession using a Section 21 notice unless you will fund the deposit first. Number six, provide documents and information you must provide the tenants with the latest copy of the How to Rent Guide at the start of the tenancy. Number two, a copy of the gas safety certificate. Number three, a copy of the electrical safety report showing a satisfactory rating. And this applies to new tenancies from the 1st of July 2020 and existing tenancies from the 1st of April 2021. Number four, you or your agent's contact details including a phone number in case of an emergency and rent will not lawfully be due unless contact details have been provided. And number five, the deposits prescribed information. Number seven, references. There are three types of references commonly used. It is best practice to obtain a reference from your tenant's previous landlord or agent to help you decide if the tenant is a reliable tenant. You may carry out credit checks to confirm if they are financially responsible. And letting agents and specialist referencing agencies can provide this service. You may decide to contact the tenant's employer and ask for bank statements or payslips to confirm the employment and affordability. You must not charge tenants for any referencing service. Number eight, it is best to remove any sentimental items from a property, have it freshly cleaned 
and a detailed photographic inventory drawn up that records the property's contents and condition. At the start of the tenancy, take the tenants through the inventory and ensure it's agreed. If you make changes, have the amendment initialed by you and the tenant. Both you and the tenant should sign and date the inventory and keep a copy to refer back to at the end of the tenancy. Number nine, guarantors. Some landlords ask for someone to guarantee the tenant's rent when there is doubt about the tenant's affordability or financial conduct. It may be necessary for guarantors of student tenancies to specify the tenant they are providing the guarantee for, as the guarantor may not want to guarantee the rent for students that they don't know. Number 10, discrimination. When selecting tenants, you must not unlawfully discriminate based on their disability, sex, gender reassignment, pregnancy or maternity, race, religion, or belief or sexual orientation. 